first tonight, we are learning much more about a shocking assault investigation that was first breaking last night. One man is in the hospital tonight with serious head injuries after police say he was beaten with a two by four. And now we've learned the attack may have been the result of a dispute over a car. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live from Providence now with the new details she's uncovered. I spoke with one of the victim's uh, co-workers today. He tells me Jonathan Stack's family is at the hospital with him. He says things don't look good. Thursday morning, Providence police returned to the scene of a brutal assault on Federal Hill. Police tell us there was a fight in this parking lot. Then this man, Jonathan Stack, was beaten with a two by four. It happened around seven o'clock Wednesday night. Now nearly 24 hours after the assault, Stack is still in critical condition and police tell us they have two people in custody. Perception's reality. If people start to think it's becoming unsafe, they won't come. Chris Tarrow owns a business on Federal Hill. He says he He's frustrated that the historic street is getting a bad rap. Federal Hill 1 is still a great safe place to come, and I don't want one incident on me on camera to impact that. We have a gem here, and we're going to just, you know, we got to be careful or it, bad things are going to continue to happen. And, uh, it's going to hurt the city and hurt the state. Police tell us they're still piecing together what led to the fight, but they say it may have had something to do with a transaction over a car. So far, police haven't named the suspects. Now, coming up new at 6, we uncovered a police report that was filed just hours before the assault that names Jonathan Stack as a victim in another and unrelated alleged crime. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.